SpaceX human revolution is flying high in the charts, with masses of gamers flexing their robo limbs as gruff cyber hero Adam Jensen. His various biomechanical upgrades, known as augmentations, are a central pillar to the action, around which the game makers have built a sophisticated and elegant fiction. As the game starts, Jensen is given a full suite of military-grade augments to save his life, and you activate these as you go along. But just how close are Jensen's sci-fi augmentations to current or future reality? For starters, Jensen's augmented limbs let him punch through walls, elbow stab baddies, pull vending machines around, and even jump slightly higher than the average near future Joe. But the question, obviously, is how close is modern science to giving us superhuman strengths and nano ceramic elbow blades? They'd be so useful. Come on. So, how close is the science fiction to science fact? Modern prosthetic technology has come a long, long way from the rudimentary wooden limbs once whittled by cavemen. The most advanced models to date connect directly to the owner's nervous system, letting him or her control the arm just as they would a natural limb. Complex gripping tasks like picking up smooth objects and even excelling at Swedish board games are now possible with these impressive appendages. While these developments are amazing and clearly life-altering, if it's wall-smashing strength you're after, you really have to go to the world of powered exoskeletons. Now these range from the badass to the not-so-badass, but they're admittedly not true augmentations. You don't get them bolted onto your torso, they're more something you climb inside to say, do battle with a monstrous alien queen? <laughs> When it comes to legs, however, researchers are really upping the augmented ante. Carbon fiber blades, or cheetahs, have proved so successful that athletes like Oscar Pistorius, a double amputee with just such legs, were banned for a time from competing alongside able-bodied runners, as the flex of the carbon fiber was judged to be better than the human ankle. Now that's what we're talking about. The ban has since been overruled, and just last week, Oscar became the first Paralympian to compete in the World Championships, helping South Africa to a silver in the 4x400m relay. Nice work. Secondly, if like me you enjoy stealthing it up in Deus Ex, then the glass shield cloaking system is likely your best friend. When activated, this augmentation bends the light around the augmentee, instead of letting it hit him and be reflected. No reflected light equals invisibility. This hides our friend Adam from guards and cameras, while also letting him slip through laser security systems unnoticed. In reality, researchers have developed something kind of similar, called metamaterials, which can direct the flow of electromagnetic radiation, of which light is just one type, smoothly around an object, like water flowing around a rock in a stream. Sounds promising? Unfortunately, so far this has only proved possible with microwaves, not waves from the visible spectrum of light. So not much use right now, but rest assured, we'll be scouring the pages of the Journal of Applied Optics, watching for the day someone cracks visible light cloaking. <music> Lastly, drunken roof terrace parties are no longer a risk to the trench-coated one, thanks to the Icarus landing system. Using something called an EMF decelerator, this augment generates a fixed focus electromagnetic lensing field, whatever that is, when it detects Jensen has launched himself off a building, essentially pushing against the Earth's own magnetosphere, decelerating his drop and resulting in a satisfyingly dramatic landing. So you might suspect something with this many sciencey words must be possible, we did. There is a question of whether the Earth's magnetic field is even strong enough, in theory, to suspend Jensen's weight. So, we did a calculation. Well, if we calculate his weight and assume a spherical Jensen in a vacuum, uh, oops, okay. Uh, we'll have to get back to you with the numbers, but bear in mind that the Earth's magnetic field is pretty weak on the planet's surface. That's why compass needles have to be light. However, magnetic levitation, or maglev, is a real thing. It's used to levitate trains a few inches above the track, called a guideway, using magnets to create both lift and thrust. However, I don't remember seeing any guideways in Deus Ex Human Revolution, and last time I checked, Jensen is not a train.
Of course, we're not here to do Deus Ex down with our science nerdery. Human Revolution is smart, thoughtful science fiction of the highest order, with many a clever nod to science fact and plenty of grounding in current cutting-edge technology. Like the best sci-fi, it extrapolates creatively from what we already know, and for that, we give it full credit. Next time on Does It Work? Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Magic? Dragons? Bows and arrows?